I think we have a problem. I found a ton, a ton of these feathers at the bottom of her cage. I would say maybe like 10 or 11 of them. Welcome to my daily vlogs, please subscribe! Okay, so a bunch of feathers are everywhere. A lot of the down feathers, the undercoat feathers, but that's normal. But kind of a lot of these feathers, see that? Now here's the thing, after looking at each of the feathers, I realized that these feathers are neck feathers, like here. So I don't think she's plucking. Thank God. And I mean, look at her. She doesn't seem like a depressed bird. I'm looking around for bald spots. She doesn't have any. There's no blood at the end of these feathers. So I don't think she's plucking them. I think she's actually legit molting. Yes, the guys. And as I was, <laughs> as I was like petting her neck, cause she was asking for scratches, one of the feathers came out and I didn't pluck it. So I'm pretty sure she's molting. But gosh, when I looked at the bottom of her cage, there were a ton of these, like, adult feathers. There was even, like, one wing feather. Gave me a heart attack. See, I still see some. Hold on. Let me show you. <laughs> the guy, uh, all these adult feathers freaked me out. See, this is another neck feather right here. I know it's a neck feather because of the way it's, like, curved. It just, it looks like a neck feather. See, another one, really small neck feather. Like, there's no way she can, like, reach certain parts of her neck so see another one these are adult feathers guys so it freaked me out i'm like oh no was she plucking last night ah! there's another adult feather i guess now she's really starting to officially molt like her body I just hope she isn't plucking oh my gosh the first thing that ran through my mind is omg she's plucking because of the chick <laughs> to be sure we will just have to Keep a close eye on the Gaia. Guys, by the way, if you're new to the world of parrots, parrots plucking their feathers off, especially African greys, is every parrot owner's nightmare. But right now, I still believe she is. She's molting. And I'm collecting all the adult feathers. I don't know why, I just am. By the way, guys, if you're new to these vlogs, welcome to the daily vlogs. My name is Mikey Bustos. This here is Ligaya. Mm -hmm. My African grey parrot. Be sure to hit the like button. It's free if you enjoy this vlog. And hit the subscribe button. Join our Mabuhai squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. If you're one of those people who are tired of like negative vibes online, trust me. Hang with us and we'll be your daily dose. We'll be a shot of positivity every day. And here on the channel, animals seem to be a big source of positivity in our lives. But sometimes they give us heart attacks, you know what I'm saying? The guy has given me like heart attacks so much ever since I had her. <laughs> I guess it's all part of parenting. And guys, look who's awake. I swear she grows every single day. I looked at her yesterday when we got back and I was like, this is a huge chick, massive. And I gotta clean your beddings. Okay, one thing at a time. Gotta make breakfast for the parrot. Good morning, babe. Good morning. <laughs> Ar I'm preparing breakfast for the bird. And RJ is preparing... Golden shake with my purple shaker. <laughs> it comes with it. It does? Yeah, I think everyone gets it like purple shaker. Most of the time, if I buy a purple shake. Like this or the black shaker. Guys, I can't express how happy I am that RJ is like getting serious about fitness and working out, right? I think it's a great, great thing. We work out together. He doesn't do crossfit yet, but we both train together here in our building. Okay, gonna create your breakfast, the guys. So, just gonna basically make a mash. Ligaya eat a quality pellet in the afternoons, but in the mornings, she gets to enjoy some veggies. Yes. <laughs> She's excited. She's like, yeah, hurry! Along with her favorite squash. Is squash a veggie? I guess it is, but technically it's like a, a fruit or a gourd. She loves her squash. Tiny bit of carotene, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna add that. Now, another thing that could cause 
plucking in parrots is something that's health related. So they might be eating a diet that is not nutritious enough or you know which causes the bird to develop some ailments which can... feather pluck doesn't only happen if say they're stressed or depressed it can also happen if they're sick so i make sure she has the best we've got some alfalfa sprouts here which she loves some carrot one hot pepper yes Kai, did you know that parrots can eat hot peppers the guy loves her hot pepper Taylor, guys wait here's here's cucumber. oh yeah here's yeah. cucumber and I wonder if I think Elsie sprouted some mung beans. Pieces of cucumber, which she loves. Okay, don't worry. Mm. What? She's kissing me. <laughs> and to top it off, we add a little bit of coconut oil. I add coconut oil to her stuff because one, it's a antibacterial and antiviral. It's got a lot of good omega fatty acids and it was re recommended to me by her vet as an anti-inflammatory just in case she is plucking because for whatever reason for reasons we don't like and today is a fruit day just gonna add a little bit of green apple little treats of green apple in there why are you why are you biting my scissors no and also a little bit of raw squash i like to add to mix in some raw orange vegetables so it's got a little bit of crunch, you know what I'm saying? You know kids, they like crunch. All right, there we have it. And then I add her supplements, her vitamins. Now, she doesn't like to take it like this. See? No, she doesn't like it. So what I do is I sneak it into her veggies. I put it on her favorite veggies. It's like her dressing, salad dressing. <laughs> it's like a salad dressing, yeah. And she generally finishes the entire bowl by the end of the day. So I know she eats it. The reason why we have these is because I took her to the vet to get some blood work done. And turns out she was deficient in two nutrients, lobulin and like some vitamin. Was it vitamin A or something? So they gave us supplements to cover it. And I asked them, I'm like, oh my gosh, but I've been pu putting the guy on a good quality diet. And he said that sometimes for whatever reason, the parrots, the birds will not absorb. Even though you provide them what you should be providing them, like the best, sometimes they have problems absorbing for whatever reason. I don't know. Birds are confusing, seriously. All right, time to eat your veggies. She's ready, she's ready. Come chick, time for you to eat. So this chick is hot on my tail. No matter where I go, she is right on me. I'm gonna try feeding her alfalfa. Do you eat alfalfa? Here, go. Mmm, mmm, vegetables. She's like, I ain't got time for that. I have 45 days to grow up. Look how big she is. Look at those feathers on her wing. Let's name her Angelina. Angelina? Yeah. Oh, she's Angelina, actually eating it. Angelina, Angelina. Go ahead, yeah, you can eat that. It's called alfalfa sprouts. She's like, no, I want mealworms. I do that. I do what the... See, she eats the mealworms. I kind of scratch at the ground, kind of like what the mom would do in the wild to look for food. And the chick kind of checks what I'm scratching, checks to see if there's food. So I do this, watch. I drop the mealworm. Ah, she saw it. Okay. I'll drop another one right now. See? She loves mealworms. She needs all the protein so she could grow up. I mean, I from eat what ants. from what you guys are saying, eat the ants, the crawling ants. I don't think she will eat ants, RJ. From you guys are saying this is a a meat chicken. Here in the Philippines they call them broiler chickens, so they grow up very fast. They're for eating, and I won't be able to tell if it's a male or a female till later. There, she's hot. It's hot on my tracks. Drop one there. <laughs> See? Look how good she is. She's a mealworm killer. Mm, that's it. That's all. She also has a growing mash. When you grow up, you're gonna be affection to people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Isn't she adorable? Look at that face. Look at this face. How can you not fall in love with this face? Okay, she's like, I'm hungry. <laughs> she's following you now. <laughs> she's like, give me food, RJ! Don't run away from her. What do you mean, RJ? Ew. RJ's like, ew. She's got a pooey butt, so we gotta wipe it. What about when we have kids? Don't tell me Ate Elsie's gonna change diapers. No, I'll do it. Sorry, just gonna do it gently. Just gonna wipe it. Poor this bird. More. Yeah. Yeah. 
ill. Not ill. Almost done. Don't worry, bird. All clean. Wait, no, there's a little bit more. Yes. She's jealous. Whoa. Someone is jealous, I think. No. This guy ain't jealous. This guy knows. All clean. Put it on your shoulder. She can't. I know. She'll fall. All right. Time to go hang out in your heat lamp. Warm up. Yep, I've washed and disinfected my hands because it's time for scratches, the guys. And guys, I was like stroking her neck and this literally, it popped off. I even felt it. Boop. She's definitely molting. Molting these adult feathers. So new beautiful feathers can grow in. These are actually her baby feathers. I keep saying adult feathers. What I mean are the outside feathers. These are baby feathers. Adult feathers are coming, coming in. I swear she's saying something. Flap those wings. Flap those wings. Flap those. Flap those. Flap those wings. Oh my gosh, she's almost getting it. Flap those wings. Flap those wings. Flap those. Flap those. Flap those wings. She almost got it. Flap those wings. Flap those wings. Flap those. Flap those. Flap those wings. Flap those wings. Flap those wings. Oh my gosh, you almost got it! <laughs> flap those wings, flap those wings, flap those, flap those, flap those wings. That's awesome! guys more and more feathers wing feathers and like random feathers from her chest even a baby tail feather more feathers do you see the end of this these don't look plucked do they you know me I'm always worrying I mean I don't think she's plucking but it's scary wing feathers scary to see all these like upper coat feathers they're baby feathers and I'm still going to assume that the bird is... She was supposed to have this like full body molt like several months ago based on what I read. She's going through it now. See? Another one. They're just everywhere. <gasps> oh my gosh, another one. The guy at... Seriously, you're freaking me out. And another baby tail feather. Seriously, the guys, you better not be bad plucking. You better not be plucking. Just molting, see? Another, a chest feather. Now, back when I had a mina, my mina used to have like full body molts. Like it would take her, I don't know, a couple weeks or so, and like a great degree of feathers would fall out. And like Ate Elsie and I would just end up sweeping it around the house. Are parrots the same? Hey guys, I'm kind of nervous. I need to stop thinking so negatively, seriously. I'm gonna be one of those like constantly worried parents. Oh my god, I became my mom. <gasps> hey guys. Come. Good girl. Please tell me you're just molting. <laughs> Please tell me I'm just being paranoid. Say, Daddy, I'm paranoid. I'm not depressed. I try to give you the best of everything. Don't tell me you're depressed because the chick, it's only staying here for a couple more days. Let me check for bald spots. Let me see. Let me see. Nope, none there. Check under this wing. None there. I don't see any bald spots. And you seem to be singing okay. You know what I'm saying? You're so verbal. Now I do see that she's growing a whole bunch of new feathers underneath this like layer of feathers. Um, so that also leads me to say that this is just normal seasonal molting. 
And you guys have seen that over the past few weeks, like new feathers have been just replenishing underneath all of this beauty, all these beautiful gray feathers. See, like if you look carefully, those are new feathers coming in. I am just hoping that this is molting. We brought her to the vet, right? Did all the blood work. So, I mean, all the bases are covered. She's never alone. She spends a lot of time outside of her cage. She's always playing. She's got lots of toys. Nutrition as best as we can get. So, you know, let's just hope for the best, right? Guys, another one, and this one was in her beak. You see, this is why I panic. Could it be like she's just naturally molting and she's just like hurrying the process by like pulling it out? Like, is it itchy? Are these old feathers itchy to you? Ah! This is why you scare me, like, guys. Anyway, this looks like um, an outer upper wing part. Not like the primaries, but like, you know, on the outside of the wing. For pluckers, for those of you who have plucking parrots, particularly African gray pluckers. Do they pluck like the same area or like do they pluck little by little everywhere? You know what I'm saying? I would imagine they pluck the same area because like it becomes a habit and then like that's how it grows. I don't know. Personally, I'm gonna still hope that it's molting, <laughs> that she's doing like a full body molt. <laughs> I'm gonna catch her. I'm gonna catch her in the act. Like I'm sure it's itchy, you know what I mean? Like, molting must not be very comfortable. Let's see, let's catch her in the act. Wow, see all that? Okay, I will just assume that you're molting, all right? Oh, there's another one, see? In her mouth, a small one. Are you plucking or was that like dislodged already and it was ready to come out? OMG, <laughs> guys, Mobile Health Squad, help me. Parrot community, help. Now, if she is plucking because she's stressed because of this new chick and she's jealous um, of the attention this chick is getting, which, by the way, I'm trying to make equal. And, you know, like she just grew up a single bird parrot. That's going to be a problem in the future because I want to get more parrots, more birds in the future. And then, did you just pull another feather out? Okay, it was a down feather. Um, And I want to have dogs and all of this. So... <laughs> Like she needs to get used to us being around other animals that aren't her species. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, did you pull this out too? Here's another. This looks like a, a cover, wing cover feather, like close to the primary. OMG. Hey Gaia, I am doing my very best to give you the best life. I truly hope you are not feather plucking, seriously. When we have our farm, you will have a big, big place to fly around. You'll have some feathered friends. Mm -hmm. And you'll pretty much be outside most of the time, soaking up some awesome sunlight. All right, Mabu High Squad. Good morning. It's a brand new day, and I got something to show you guys regarding the chick right here. She's running around the place. In terms of Ligaya, Ligaya hasn't shed any more like outside feathers. Ate Elsie just said this morning she had like down feathers and stuff down there. Let's just hope that continues. But guys, let me show you something really cool that we have for the chick. Check it out. <laughs> 